We are receiving breaking news that the Queen has passed. Queen Elizabeth II had been under medical supervision in Buckingham Palace throughout the morning, but pretty much everyone for the last few hours has been expecting that this is the prelude to her passing, and she apparently has. I believe she was 96 years old. She is described as passing peacefully, which is you know fairly easy to, to, to understand. Um, and there has already been, Francesca, throughout the morning, a great deal of conversation, as there always is when it's a high-profile individual like this. Um, a lot of, I think, sort of understandable criticism of uh, the queen individually or the monarchy more generally. But we do also have to also understand that, especially there, but even here in the U.S., there are many people who really, really care about the monarchy and the history of it and have experienced possibly decades uh, with this particular queen. So, um, you know, regardless of what any of us individually might think, let's understand that there are people for whom this is a, a you know very sad day, including, of course, her family. Absolutely. And uh, it's interesting. We're here, we're here talking about whether a woman would be elected leader of the United States of America and then over, you know, yes, she inherited the role, but uh, the queen, 70 years on the throne. That ain't easy. And yeah. uh, I, as much as I despise um, the colonial impact of the um, British royal crown around the world, uh, and I think it's a vestige of the past, and my God, I do think it should not exist anymore. There is a, like, you gotta tip your hat. You know, you gotta, like, mm -hmm. honor someone who held down that throne through an incredible amount of change, tumult, um, like, some Thatcher wars in there. And also, you know, the show The Crown is really wonderful, and... <sighs> I wouldn't care as much about the queen had I didn't want to watch that and seen um, that she could be, you know, a, a, you know, both a terrible person, a cold, stone-hearted person, uh, mm -hmm. but also, but also maybe like uh, had a harder role than maybe we give her credit yeah. for. So, yeah, that's the I guess that's the demonstration of the power of art <laughs> that it can make us yes. uh, understand these sorts of things that we don't necessarily follow every day. Uh, the power really fast, of Netflix. Exactly. Thank you, Netflix. Um, for making me appreciate the monarchy. Uh, I want to acknowledge a, a few facts about Queen Elizabeth. Uh, as you said, seven decade rule over the UK. Uh, she marked her platinum jubilee, the first. She's the longest serving monarch, which is amazing. Apparently Prince Charles will become king, so we'll have the king, long live the king, I guess. Um, 15 UK prime ministers, including Liz Truss, who it was the, one of the Queen's last duties was to uh, appoint her prime minister, served while she was queen. 15 leaders, some of them for a good number of years. I mean, yeah. that is amazing. She was, um, I guess I was going to say inaugurated, coronated in 1953. Mm -hmm. Jesus, that is amazing. And, you know, it's not It's not up to me. Clearly, it's not up to any American. It, it, does, it does seem weird to still have it. Like, I, I kind of feel like, she got to 70 years. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the last one that made history. And then, OK, now we're good. Now we're just going to start to have democracy or whatever, which they do. But I don't know. They're just going to continue. There's going to be king. Someday there's going to be a prince just flying on a spaceship to Mars, I guess. That's that's the weird way that humans operate. I don't know. I mean, I think that she was able to ha like keep the family and the monarchy like intact and a little bit like despite all the scandal and it's like whatever you think about it kind of like unflinching and unwavering now you got philip up in there mm -hmm. or no uh, charles excuse me my bad r.i.p um you got prince charles up in there with camilla scandal central number one obviously mm -hmm. could have should have would have been princess diana um but of course the anyway blah 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 the family schemed against camilla and what i'm saying is this <laughs> I think it I, I think it only goes south from here for the monarchy. I think Queen Elizabeth II was the last like the last person kind of holding the respectability if there ever if you ever had any mm -hmm. last one to hold it together and now we've got Charles and yeah. can we just skip Charles and just make Meghan queen I just, is that, honestly that I just I want it just cuz I want to see the breakdown that Piers Morgan would have. 
<laughs> That's we just the like only a reason. Screamo meter, like like do it the way or like a text vote the way they do in American Idol. Is that possible? Oh, 